Welcome to Design a Dwelling, Volume 3. I'm Doug Pat. This is a series where we pick a site and put a house on it. Water towers are everywhere, and they come in all shapes and sizes. They store water and create pressure in the distribution system because of their height. These Marshall Wells water towers seemed very unique. Their shape and color are quite appealing, as is the fact that they sit one next to the other. They're a perfect site for design a dwelling. So, I started thinking about the new home as a kind of bridge that spanned the gap between the two structures. The potential panoramic view was also really important, so a series of 360 degree balconies are a must. I also thought it'd be neat to maintain the architecture of the towers on the interior of the building by leaving them exposed, as well as visible from the exterior of the new home. So, remember, this exercise is to simply describe what an architect might be thinking about in a schematic way if cost and schedule were in no way an issue. It also assumes that anything is possible. So, to back up a bit, in the beginning, I struggled with some kind of structural support below the building. In the end, I decided, rather, that I'm not going to worry about structure here because it's obvious to me that we could create some kind of hidden support for the building if money were no object. So, I overlaid the drawing on the photo. Now, the photo is a little short, so I added some width and cleaned it up, eliminated the water tower where it wouldn't be seen through the floor systems and the roof, then added some shadow. The material for the balconies could be long strips of stained ipe or teak, some kind of wood. The facade would take its cue from the towers set up in continuous panels of glass, steel, and maybe screens for blocking the sun. Then, add a little cartoon clouds, and the house really starts to take on a Jetsons kind of feel. So, we'll add a spaceship and my scale figure. Then a little animation showing our scale figure arriving in style, perhaps taking a little stroll through the building, enjoying the view, and then leaving for a hot date now that he lives in a famous house. And there you have it, a modern water tower dwelling. So, thanks for checking out Volume 3 of Design a Dwelling. This is Doug Pat. See you next time on How to Architect.